Up next on BGSU Brain Game, it is Tiffin Columbian versus Lake. We better brace ourselves for a colossal cranial collision. Only one team can lead victorious. Who is it going to be? Only one way to find out. BGSU's Brain Game starts right now. And welcome to BGSU Brain Game. It is Tiffin Columbian versus Lake. Let's meet our teams. Tiffin Columbian, tell us who you are. I'm Leslie, I'm a senior. To my left is Josh, a senior. And to my right is Ashley, a sophomore. Welcome to you, and who's your coach? Samantha Lichtenberger. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And Lake, tell us who you are. I'm Caleb, to my left, I'm Caleb, I'm a senior. To my left is Zach, a junior. And to my right is Brian, a junior. And you're coached by? Mrs. Bizzoli. All right, welcome to you, Lake, as well. We're going to start things off with our toss-up round. There are 10 questions in this round, and they're worth 10 points apiece with no deduction for an incorrect answer. You can confer before buzzing in, and you can steal a question in this round. Lake, Tiffin Columbia, and Brain Game starts with you right now. Which two planets have no moons? That would be Lake, Zach. Mercury and Venus. That is correct. So sad, no moons. During which president's administration was the Federal Aid Highway Act passed that allowed construction of the interstate highway system to begin? <coughs> Tiffin Columbian, Josh. FDR. Incorrect. Lake, would you like to steal? <coughs> that would be Caleb. Eisenhower. It was indeed Dwight D. Eisenhower. Beyond a salary received for performing a job, what four-letter noun designates peripheral benefits? So that would be Lake, Caleb. Tips. Incorrect, such as free vacation travel, use of a company car, company exercise facilities, and other additional unpaid but lucrative bonuses. Tip in Columbia would like to steal. Time. That would be a perk. We're looking for perks there. What is the longest venomous snake in the world? In time, Caleb. It's like King Cobra. It is indeed the King Cobra. The grandson of a president, this bearded Republican served in between the two, excuse me, between the non-consecutive terms of President Glover, Grover Cleveland. Who was he? Lake, Zach. Benjamin Harrison. Benjamin Harrison is correct. Stored in the gallbladder, this fluid breaks down or emulsifies. That would be Tiffin Columbian Leslie. Bile. Bile, yes. In which of William Shakespeare's works are the fairy king and queen? That would be Lake Caleb. A Midsummer Night's Dream. It is indeed a Midsummer Night's Dream. Which South American country was led by the first Marxist leader? to be elected in the Western Hemisphere from 1971 to 1973. Its leader, Salvador Allende, was born in Valparaiso. That will be Lake, Caleb. Venezuela. Incorrect, Tiffin Colombian would like to steal. That will be Leslie. Colombia. Incorrect, Chile. As a vehicle to discover intelligent beings elsewhere in our universe, the SETI group monitors radio signals in outer space. What is the meaning of the acronym that would be LAKE, Zach? Search for extraterrestrial existence. Incorrect. What is the meaning of the acronym SETI or S-E-T-I? End of time. Search for extraterrestrial intelligence. You knew that, didn't you? All right. Which Latin term that literally translates to elsewhere is used in a legal setting to indicate a person has provided a valid explanation? Lake, Caleb. Alibi. That is indeed an alibi. That is all 10 questions in our round. Let's take a look at our score. Tiffin Columbian currently at 10. Lake, you are currently in lead with 60 points. You're going to want to stick around because our risk and reward round is coming up next. And welcome back.
back to BGSU Brain Game. Tiffin Columbian 10, Lake 60 points. Tiffin Columbian looks like you shuffled the deck a little bit and brought on board someone new. Who has joined your team? Um, this is Deacon, a freshman. All right, welcome to you, Deacon, and Lake is staying with their lineup. This is the risk and reward round. Both of our teams will receive the same nine questions. They are worth 10 points apiece. No deduction for an incorrect answer. Both of our teams will then have the option to answer the risk and reward question. They can risk in five point increments up to 30 points, but that question comes with some potential deductions, risk and reward. All right, Tiffin Columbian, you're at 10. Lake, you're at 60. That means you're sticking around. Tiffin Columbian, you're off to isolation. All right, Lake, are you ready for your risk and reward round? Starts right now. The art of shaping statues out of wood is called what? Caleb. Carving. Yes, carving, yes. Or the Adventures of James Harris is the subtitle of what 1948 Shirley Jackson short story collection, which took its name from her most popular short story. Time, that would be the lottery. Much like a leech attaches to a human body to feed, which fish with a body like an eel that is equipped with a sucking tube attaches to other fish to feed on their blood? That would be a lamprey. A slender plant with blue flowers and narrow leaves. Its fibers are spun into linen. What is the name of, that would be Lake Caleb. Flax. Flax, yes. Following the Civil War in the United States, what name was given to the era from 1865 to 1877? That would be Lake Zach. Reconstruction. Reconstruction, yes. Written shortly before the Battle of Bouvine, this document was crafted by rebellious barons and sealed under oath at Runnymede by King John. That would be Lake Caleb. The Magna Carta. It was indeed the Magna Carta. On an ocean island, these regions offer protection from winds and waves. What name is given to this type of shallow body of water separated by sandbars or coral reefs from the open sea? Atoll. Caleb. Atoll. Incorrect, a lagoon. Give the two-word phrase that designates a strip of land where treaties or agreements forbid troops and weapons. It is often distinguished by guards and a border checkpoint. Caleb. A demilitarized zone? Indeed, a demilitarized zone. Running from the tip of Chile to, Alaska, to the Alaskan north, then across to Russia and south to New Zealand, this geographic feature marks the boundaries between tectonic plates that underlie the Pacific Ocean. Identify the three-word phrase for, that would be Zach. Ring of fire. It is the ring of fire. This is the risk and reward question. The topic is grammar. Would you like to take a risk or pass? Uh, let's just pass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pass. They elect to pass on grammar. That means, Lake, you are off to isolation. All right, let's bring back in Tiffin Columbian. All right, Tiffin Columbian, welcome back from isolation. Are you ready for your risk and reward round? It starts right now. The art of shaping statues out of wood is called what? Did he get in time? He got in time, Deacon. Carving? It is indeed carving, yes. Or The Adventures of James Harris is the subtitle of what 1948 Shirley Jackson short story collection, which took its name from her most popular short story. The Lottery. 
much like a leech attaches to a human body to feed, which fish with a body like an eel that is equipped with a sucking tube attaches to other fish to feed on their blood? In time, that will be Josh. Anglefish. Incorrect, a lamprey. A slender plant with blue flowers and narrow leaves. Its fibers are spun into linen. What is the name of this plant whose seeds are used to make linseed oil? Time, that would be flax. Following the Civil War in the United States, what name was given to the era from 1865 to 1877? when much of the South was reorganized and being readmitted to the Union. Josh. Restoration. Excuse Wait, me? Restoration. Incorrect. Reconstruction. Written shortly after the Battle of Bouvines, this document was crafted by rebellious barons and sealed under oath at Runnymede by King John. Identify this 1215 charter. Josh. Magna Carta. It is indeed the Magna Carta. On an ocean island, these regions offer protection from winds and waves. What name is given to this type of shallow body of water separated by sandbars or coral reefs from the open sea? That will be Deacon. Atolls. Incorrect. A lagoon. Give the two-word phrase that designates a strip of land where treaties or agreements forbid troops and weapons. It is often distinguished by guards and a border checkpoint. Deacon. Demilitarization zones. Will we accept that? Yes, we will. Running from the top of Chile to the Alaskan north, then across to Russia and south to New Zealand, this geographic feature marks the boundaries between tectonic plates that underlie the Pacific Ocean. Identify the three-word phrase for this volcanic region. Josh. The Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire. All right, this is your risk and reward question. The topic is grammar. Would you like to risk any points here, or would you like to pass? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Ten points. Uh, 10 points. 10 points for Tiffin Columbian on grammar. Correct the usage error in the following sentence. If you had to choose between cake, pie, or cobbler, which one would you prefer for dessert? Time. You needed to change the word between to among. So that's negative 10 points for you, but way to take a risk. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to clear our scores. We're going to bring back in Lake and we're going to see where our teams stand face to face. Welcome back, Lake. It is now time to reveal our scores so our two teams can see face to face where they stand. Lake, they decided to pass on the risk and reward question and their points stand at 120 points, Tiffin Columbian took a risk, went for 10, unfortunately lost 10, and they stand at 40 points. 40 to 120 points, but stay tuned. Coming up next is our category round where questions can be worth as much as 30 points, but deductions start. Stay tuned. Welcome back to BGSU's Brain Game. Tipping Columbian, 40 points. Lake currently in the lead with 120 points. But Tipping Columbian, looks like you have shuffled the deck and brought some new members on board. Tell me your lineup right now. I'm Kelsey. I'm a junior. To my left is Leslie. She's a senior. And to my right is Deacon. He's Deacon a freshman. Slid down on us. And Lake staying with their same lineup. This is our category round. The power shifts now to you teams because there are six categories to choose from. Questions worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points. But I have to warn you, deductions start now on those point values. You can confer before buzzing in and you can steal a question. Our double or nothing question is also hidden somewhere in that board. 
All right, Tip and Columbian, since you're at 40 points, you get to make the first selection. We'll go with astronomy for 30. Astronomy for 30 points. The outermost layer of the sun can look like a halo or aurora in photos. What is this layer called? That would be Lake Caleb. The corona. The corona, correct. Lake takes control. Astronomy 25. Astronomy now for 25. This is the double or nothing question. Open to both teams. It rotates faster than any other planet. That would be Deacon, Tip and Columbian. Jupiter. It is indeed Jupiter. That's double the points for you and control. Let's go astronomy for 20. Astronomy for 20 points. What Italian astronomer discovered the four moons of Jupiter? Tiffin Columbian, Deacon. Galileo. That will be Galileo Galilei. Tiffin Columbian in control, making a move. Astronomy for 15. Astronomy now for 15 points. What factor determines a star's color? Tiffin Columbian. Kelsey. Temperature. It's temperature does indeed. Tiffin Columbian. On the board and on the move, in control. Astronomy for 10. Astronomy now for 10, finishing off this category. Which planet's surface is thick with clouds of sulfuric acid? Tiffin Columbian, Kelsey. Venus. Venus is correct. Tiffin Columbian, your choice. Art for 20. Art for 20 points. What nationality are the painters Vincent van Gogh, Jan Viermer, and Rembrandt, that would be Tiffin Columbian, Leslie. French. They are uh, incorrect. Blake, would you like to steal? That would be Caleb. Italian. They are not, they are Dutch. They are Dutch. Tiffin Columbian in control. Art for 25. Art for 25. This term is applied to artists who develop experimental methods or new concepts in the arts. Give this term that begins with the letter a. Tiffin Columbian, Deacon. Abstractist. Incorrect. Blake, would you like to steal? Time. Avant garde is what we needed there. Tiffin Columbian, you're still in control of the board. Art for 15. Art for 15 points. He studied anatomy by dissecting corpses. Name this sculptor who crafted David and Moses in stone. That would be Deacon. Michelangelo. Michelangelo is correct. Tiffin Columbian in control. Art for 30. Art for 30 points. What basic color does cerulean represent? Lake, Zach. Blue. It is indeed blue. Uh, Lake takes back control. Um, animals for 20. Animals for 20 points. This mammal's tail is covered by bony rings. Identify this mammal whose head and body are almost all covered with an armor. That would be Lake, Caleb. The armadillo. It is the armadillo, yes. Lake still in control. Insects, 20. Insects for 20 points. They are part of the family Mantidae, or Mantidae, depending on uh, the pronunciation. Name this insect which holds its four legs in, the, that would be Lake, Caleb. The praying mantis. The praying mantis, yes. In control is Lake. Animals, 25. Animals now for 25. The ibsis uh, moved gracefully through the water. Excuse me, the ibis moved gracefully through the water. What type of animal is an ibis? That would be Tiffin Columbian, Leslie. Bird. It is indeed a bird, Tiffin Columbian. Back in control. Ancient history, 25. Ancient history for 25. Beginning in the 18th dynasty, what title was given to the rulers of ancient Egypt? Tiffin Columbian, Kelsey. Pharaoh. They are pharaohs, yes. Tiffin Columbian in control, making a move. Ancient history, 30. Ancient history for 30 points. It is located on the west side of the Nile. Name the burial site where you would find the remains of many kings, including, that would be Tiffin Columbian, Kelsey. Giza. Incorrect, including Ramesses II, 52 sons. Lake, would you like to steal? Time. We needed Valley of the Kings. 
Tip in Colombian, you're still in control. Insects 25. Insects for 25. Butterflies undergo complete metamorphosis that consists of four stages. In what stage does the larva hibernate? Lake, Zach. Chrysalis. Incorrect. Tip in Colombian, would you like to steal? We needed pupa, pupa. Tiffin Colombian in control. Um, ancient history 20. Ancient history for 20 points. Romulus and his twin brother Remus were the legendary founders of what city? Lake Caleb. Rome. Rome is correct. Lake back in control. Animals 30. Animals for 30 points. What does one call a male swan? Tiffin Columbian, Kelsey. Harold? Incorrect. Lake, would you like to steal? End of, well, they still have the option. Five, oh, five sec. Did he buzz in? Nope, no buzz in there. Time is up on that. Is a cob, is what we needed there. A cob. All right, let's take a look at our score. Tiffin Columbian at 95 points. Lake at 195 points. These teams have been going back and forth. Coming up next is our brainstorm round. Questions were 20 points apiece, negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. Still anybody's game. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Tiffin Columbian, 95 points. Lake at 195 points. Tiffin Columbian. A slight shuffle in your deck. Who has rejoined the team here? On my right is Alex. All right, welcome to you, Alex. Lake staying with their lineup. This is the brainstorm round, the round for all the marbles. It is 20 points apiece for a question, negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. You may confer before buzzing in, but no stealing. No stealing in this round. Lake, Tiffin Columbian, three minutes of brainstorm starts right now. Find the sum of 15 plus negative 46 plus 29. Lake, Zach. Negative two. Correct. What 13th century poet wrote the Divine Comedy? Lake, Caleb. Dante. Dante is correct. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Tiffin Columbian. Kelsey. Pythagorean theorem. Will we accept that? Yes, we will. If you mix an acid and a base, you get what? Time, salt, and water. Who invented the modern periodic table? Tiffin Columbian. Kelsey. Correct. The city of Cusco is in what South American Tiffin Colombian? Alex. Peru. Correct. Who wrote The Lord of the Flies? Tiffin Colombian. Leslie. Golding. Correct. What is the world's warmest ocean? Lake Caleb. The Indian Ocean? Correct. What is the only great lake lying entirely? in the United States. Lake Caleb. Lake Michigan. Correct. How many vertebrae are in a human spine? Tiffin Columbian, they get in. Yes, Kelsey. 24. Correct. How many flanges are in your big toe? Time two. What does the internet related excuse me, abbreviation ISP stand for? Lake Caleb. Internet service provider. Correct. In which ocean did the Titanic sink? Tiffin Columbian, Alex. Atlantic. Correct. What do we call the point at the top of a pyramid? Tiffin Columbian, Kelsey. Apex. Correct. 
In the fairy tale, Jack and the Beanstalk, what does Jack steal on his third visit to the giant's castle? Tiffin Columbian, Kelsey. A goose that lays golden eggs. Incorrect, he stole a harp. Oh. The English houses of Lancaster and York fought what war that started? Tiffin Columbian, Alex. War of the Roses. It was indeed the War of the Roses. The Burj Khalifa is the world's tallest building at 2,717 feet. In end of round, let's take a look at our score. What a round. Tiffin Columbian, 235 points, but still in the lead with 295 is Lake. Let's give both these teams a big round of applause. In the spirit of good sportsmanship, we're going to meet in the middle, shake hands. We're going to see you at the next BGSU Brain Game.